How's it going everyone? This is Vertic Designs here and for this video I'm going to show you how to fix a problem which I had quite a while back with After Effects. When I first installed it, it didn't have the option for the H.264 format and by this I'm just going to quickly show you if you click on lossless and you go to the formats right here. Sometimes with After Effects you won't have it here. For some reason by default it may be disabled. The first thing you want to do is you want to go down to the description down below and click on the link which will take you to this page right here. And all you got to do here is click on download which will download the QuickTime. So once you've downloaded it, you want to install it on your computer and then you can come back into After Effects. Make sure that you restart your computer to make the changes actually apply. So the next part is quite optional because it doesn't apply to everyone, but you still should make sure just in case. So you want to go to edit and then go down to preferences in here, go to output. Once you get to the screen, you want to look for an option underneath this one that says show deprecated formats and you want to tick it. All that does is that it enables the H.264 format to actually work with After Effects and after that you just press OK. Once you've done that, you can go back into this option right here to change it and the format should be right there. If yours isn't, you can go down to QuickTime and where it says format options, you click here. And then you go to where it says video codec and change this one to H.264. And that is pretty much it. You now have the best format in After Effects. And this format seriously beats a lot of other formats out there. It is just unbelievable how high quality it is compared to every single one out there. It is really good and you should always render with it. Unless you're working on different projects which might require a different format. And that is pretty much it. I hope this video was helpful. The reason I made it is because some of you watching my channel will have followed some of my tutorials and soon I will be having a lot more templates out there for you to use which will require you to actually render the videos and I want you to have the best option for the rendering and the highest quality possible. If this video was helpful then give it a thumbs up and leave a comment on what you think of it. If you have any tutorial suggestions, leave a comment and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.